and going back to the 1920s or 30s, I believe, uh, an illustration. A, I think there was, if I recall correctly, sometimes I get my facts mixed up, but I always ask people to correct me if I do. I think of what somebody called the Jones Brothers, and they were in the numbers business. Yes, they were. Okay, and they accumulated. They were actually, I understand, as far as personality is concerned, they they didn't have the thug image. They 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 were very nice guys, you might say. Correct. A uh, gentleman, and and you know, and people who were family people and whatnot, and uh, but they wanted to get out of the numbers business because the numbers business, the numbers racket, was illegal. So understand that the Jones brothers decided to go into banking. And I understand that the white supremacists directly and directly said, oh, you're not going to do that. In other words, you think you're going to go legit, you black people who are doing something illegal to make money? And here on Chicago South Side, you think that you are going to go legit and start opening banks and making small loans so that other black people can go into business and whatnot and compete with the white supremacists? No. And so I understand that they put the muscle on the Jones boys and drove them into Mexico. Yeah, Joe Where country. they retired. Now, they had plenty of money. Their families had plenty of money. But they were no longer in the business in Southside Chicago of trying to help the people on Southside Chicago. Right. What Chicago is the message? Mob. Chicago mob took it over. Yes. See, in other words... Any time a black person tries to do something that's going to be constructive, then that's when the white supremacists step in and say, no, you're not going to do anything that's going to help people physically and mentally improve themselves. You know something, as long as, as, long as I, you're dealing in drugs, mm -hmm. as long as you're dealing in something, I mean, you know, that's going to be derogatory, something that's going to lower the self-esteem of black people, as long as you are out here promoting gangsterism of any kind and whatnot and having black people slaughtering each other, we will dump all the money on you that you will ever need. You know, I, the I minute just... you start doing anything that looks like it's going to help people physically and mentally, mm -hmm. and these people have dark skin, it's not going to happen. Or we will put a hit on you in a minute, one way or another, either drive you out of business or kill you. 